Hey you guys, LH signing in, bringing you what is 100% authentic, can never be compromised or manufactured. So you guys, they did it again, okay? Did it again. So, as you guys can see, <laughs> that I I that looked like a woman from aka either United States or Europe, Belgium or France, one of them. But that how the hell do you get that in ancient Egypt? I just be honest, this this is what really pisses me off. I'm going to have people that are going to say, oh, you're racist for... No, I'm racist for pointing out the truth. You can't handle the truth for some reason. You have insecurity problems. You yourself don't know history. And you yourself probably, deep down in your heart, know this is true, which is why you are offended and feeling some type of way. I know you guys are going to feel some type of way. But if you really are good within yourself and you know the truth and you know that how could someone that's acclimated they know they they're acclimated to the climate that's why they have certain features that broader noses fuller li or, or or you know thin noses and stuff like that one is in the cold climate one is in the hot climate I always knew something was up when I had these history classes and my teacher, no disrespect, her ass told me that she was reincarnated and her original self was like Queen, queen Cleopatra, somebody, a queen from Egypt. And I was like laughing like, look at this woman, this... I mean, Miss Seymour was like a, a hippie looking, you know, she looked like a flower child, blonde hair. But I mean, but I just knew, I mean, no, sorry, I knew it was ridiculous. Okay. I knew it was ridiculous. I was thinking to my, it just did. And I'm young as that. And, and I may, I didn't know as much. I didn't become as conscious as I am now, I didn't know as much about the whitewashing of history back then. I didn't know about that, but I always knew when it came to Egypt, I knew it was in Africa. One, two, I knew it was hot. Three, I knew my friends in the summertime under 70, 80 degree weather always encouraged wearing sunscreen. So how the hell can anybody from Europe or anybody else for that matter, here in this country, who is a white or Anglo-Saxon, go into Africa, survive in Africa, rule in Africa, and come out that bus. Like, that does not make sense. How about we get history right, tell history, not putting up fake news, because actually, this is what Nefertiti most likely looked like. Okay? But I'm just like way over it. I'm past mad about this. Like I found out about this last night. And this, this could tell you, I'm not on YouTube as much, but I subscribe to some channels that bring these stories to light. And I'm glad I, I can't look at YouTube as much because I'm constantly bombarded with all this foolery that's going on in the world. And people rewriting history like this this James Gates making a fictitious that look like a damn Halloween, a woman from the sub suburbs playing in a Halloween competition. That didn't look like no real accurate depiction of Queen Nefertiti. Queen Nefertiti looked like this.
okay? I could look and pass for an Egyptian, a real Egyptian, not the ones that are there now because, okay, let's be honest, people migrated, people, um, you know, just like we have people here, we have different peoples and cultures that are native here. So the same way you can say, oh, I'm an Egyptian or I'm a, a African, yeah, but removed. Like you take a African zebra and you put it in America and then that's how you get a zebra in the zoo. That's how you get a horse here when they're originally from Mongolia, okay? Uh, not to mention, too, they did a uh, DNA. They did a DNA um, test on Queen Nefertiti, so they're blindly doing this. Knowing that there is a test on Nefertiti and her family, and they found out that uh, Nefertiti's parents, one of them, I think, is Queen Ty. I have the video. I'm going to leave a video of this brother that um, did this video in the description of my uh, of my video. But this is all. How can you rewrite history when you have proof that this is not true? They did a test on on Queen Nefertiti and they found her to be from a uh, sub-Saharan. I think West African or Nubian line. And it's like. <laughs> I'm gonna need some people to wake up after uh, out of their uh their uh sunken place. I'm gonna need some people to fucking grow some huevos. I'm gonna need some people to freaking understand their low insecurities, their low self esteem. Stop ingratiating themselves in places that they weren't there. Stop ingratiating false uh facts in history. Stop ingratiating facts. Um uh 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 uh. uh uh, facts that are based on falsehoods that you call facts, but they're really, really fake. Fake, fake, fake frauds. So yeah, on that note, though, I've gotten these, uh, this is like the unity piece. Uh, my aunt gave me this, so I wanted to show this. It's like, I'm getting more, and this is actually, it says it's from Ghana. So I have to ask my aunt where she got this. Like someone gave this to her because I know she didn't go to Africa. But <laughs> I got this and this. So I'm very proud about that with Black, um, you know, this is Black History Month and with Black Panther coming up, like this is a perfect time for my, I'm just thankful. Like, aunt, thank you so much for giving me these pieces. But to get back to the video, yeah, I'm gonna need people to realize facts from fake. This is facts. They're rewriting history. This is very dangerous. This is not me like, I'm mad because they're they're essentially, they're whitewashing an ancestor. And I don't care like about race like that, uh, to be honest, but be, I do when it's false. I care about, because I would not want anybody to be called uh, Julius Caesar. I wouldn't expect a bust of Samuel J Jackson to be a bust of Susie, uh, Caesar, uh, uh, I can't even say his name, Julius Caesar. I mean, come on, keep it real, stop lying. This is what I hate, people who lie. This is a lie. I hate people who do shit like this whitewash everything you want to you want to make everything yours when it wasn't stop it it's showing signs of a low insecurity person it's showing a psychopath it's showing someone who has identity issues you need to get over the fact that the egyptians were melanated african black mixed black whatever they were what they were get over it. I, I appreciate that the Greeks were Greek, white Europeans. I appreciate the Assyrians were Asiatic white people. I appreciate the fact that uh, the French were French European people, Germans, German, white European. Let's understand that. But 
I guess since the Cheddarwick man came out as dark skin with blue eyes, I don't know, that some people feel some type of way and want to regurgitate the Egyptians. The Egypt Closed case, the Egyptians were black. All right, know thyself. Peace and love, you guys. LH signing in. Unity to all. If you lie, no unity. I meant.